Merry Christmas. I pray that you and your family have had an incredible time together on this Christmas. This time of year, we celebrate Jesus Christ, God with us. Scripture says he is Emmanuel, God with us. He has been given the name that is above every name. And today we continue to celebrate that name. Philippians 2 and 9 says, Therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Isaiah 9 and 6 says, For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And we celebrate him today. History has coughed up multitudes of names linked to fame. The tenacious, the notorious, the religious, and the sacrilegious. What images flit through across the windows of your mind when you hear names such as Socrates and Churchill, Mussolini, Mandela, and Einstein? Do you recoil when you hear the name Hitler? Does inspiration hit you between the eyes when you hear the name Armstrong? Do you yawn at the, and roll your eyes at the name uh, Shakespeare? Names are pregnant with purpose. That's what's in a name. And friends, if I may inquire, what stirs within the recesses of your soul when you hear Jesus' name? An enigma personified, holy man, holy divine, took on the lowliest of forms so slaves could reign as kings. Deity who chose to endure mortality so we could enjoy eternity. Why does no other name affect the skeptic, the heretic, and the majestic, the homicidal, the suicidal, and the matinee idol. No other name, no other name changed nature's mindsets and or matter. Open blind eyes, deaf ears, and healed cancer. No other name. No other name came with the mandate, heaven's kingdom expressed on earth. But if his miracles are just fairy tales, then why do millions gather putting their lives on the line for his namesake? I've come to the conclusion that there is no other name, no other name in heaven and on earth. The name of Jesus gives us access. The way of life is Jesus, only Jesus. But for those in Christ, this doesn't equate to a small life. Instead, in Christ, life becomes larger, wider, more full of potential and blessing than any other way will ever allow us. But I think that far too often people mistakenly correlate the difficult path with being a, a, a restriction and a, and a constriction path. But the Bible doesn't say that. We read throughout the Old Testament that David's journey was at times intensely difficult. But in 2 Samuel 22 and 37, he says, You enlarged my path under me, so my feet did not slip. The path may be difficult and the gate may be narrow, but let me tell you, there is a whole lot of life to be accessed through that narrow gate. His name is Jesus. And as we step into grace and through the narrow gate, he leads us into life, into a life of glorious potential. The way, the truth, the life, the narrow gate. Why does this matter for us as we attempt to follow Christ and grow in our faith? Well, it's because there's no, there's, there's one name that's foundational to our ability to live the big abundant life God wants us to have. And that name is simply Jesus. The power behind Jesus' name is essential if we want to reach or, or divinely, our divinely appointed destination. In fact, Jesus didn't leave us much choice. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. It's in John 14, verse 6. Notice Jesus didn't say that he's the tour director or the traffic cop for the way to know God. He said that he is the way. 
While I have no doubt that our path to knowing God is found only through Jesus, I also know that the message of the gospel is inclusive, not exclusive. Jesus invites everyone, men and women, Jew and Gentile, rich and poor, young and old, everyone to accept the gift of grace by confessing the one and only name, Jesus. While Jesus declares that he is the only way, exclusive, he opens his way up to all who call upon his name, inclusive. He's an, he is as inclusive as he is exclusive. It's the uh, subversive nature of the gospel, the upside down way of the kingdom. The good news is for everyone. So in order to enjoy the spacious, wide open life Jesus came to bring, that we can access and enjoy in him, we have to believe him when he also said, enter by the narrow gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many who go on it and to go by it. Because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life. And there are few who find it. That's Matthew 7, 13 and 14. Jesus makes it clear here that it's not going to be easy or convenient or even popular to follow him. But as we see, I fear sometimes we make the gate tighter and more confining than he does. The key to unlocking the narrow gate is the name Jesus. There's no other name. Let's consider what makes his name unique and why it, it, it alone is more powerful than any other name. What's in the name? Well, in the Jewish culture, the name Jesus literally means Jehovah is salvation, which we often translate as Savior. The name came from God himself. You know, my name has limitations and so does yours. If we only live according to our own authority and influence, then we're always going to run up against our limitations. That's why the only hope we have comes from the name Jesus. His name is the narrow gate. And we have the right to live and operate under the great name that is above all names. Unfortunately, in life, we often try to live according to our limitations and uh, out of our name rather than the understanding that we, the hope we have, the victory we have, the power that we have, the promise that we have is entirely different, um, a different name according to, um, and, and it keeps us on a completely separate level, right? In other words, we often assume that we can't do something because of our own limitations. We forget who made us and empowers us and, and can do anything. This is the best news possible, especially regarding those problems for which we don't know the answers. We can't deny though that names carry great power by what we associate with them, but they usually serve as our point of reference for the people around us. You see, we can enter into the fullness of life even through the gate that is narrow because we have the authority of the name of Jesus. There is not one thing in our life, no challenge, no problem, no heartache, over which you cannot speak the name of Jesus and see victory. We often face obstacles in life and feel squeezed off at the, the fateful path of following Christ. We get so close to what the future holds and yet we don't have any access to it. We can't find the trail that leads to the place God is calling us to reach, you know, and we're not, we're not sure which next step to take. That's where the power of Jesus' holy name becomes our key. His name is strong and yet tender, fierce and yet gentle. It's trustworthy and sincere, powerful and merciful. And the declaration of its limitless ability could go on for eternity. The best news of all is, is that you and I have inherited it as joint heirs, brothers and sisters of Jesus. We have a legacy of power, purpose, and possibilities we've, we've barely even tapped into. The gate may be narrow, but Jesus always makes a way for those living under his oath of salvation, his promise, those who, travel, those who are traveling by his unchanging, unshakable name. 
Do you want to know the way to get through the narrow gate? The name of Jesus. There is no other way. There is no other name. It's simply Jesus. There's something special, something supernatural about the name of Jesus. Something happens when I mention his name. Demons have to flee when I say the name of Jesus. Sickness has to heal when we say the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow and every tongue proclaim with worthy praise the matchless name of Jesus. When we call on his name, the very atmosphere has to change. It's got to be transformed and never be the same by the power of his holy name. Let me encourage you this holiday season to lean in and call on the name that is above every name. Whatever you need, he has it and it's in his name. He's given you access to it in his name. If you've never accepted the free gift of salvation and you wanna do that today, what a wonderful Christmas gift to receive Jesus Christ as your personal savior. There could be no greater gift received this year. You could end 2020, a year which seems like has been calamity after calamity and end it with the greatest victory of your life by calling on the name of Jesus. If you want to accept that free gift, I invite you to pray with me. You're loved. You are so loved today. Pray this, all you have to do is simply pray this prayer with me if you wanna receive this wonderful gift, the name of Jesus. Just say, Jesus, today, I surrender my life to you and I accept the gift of Jesus Christ as my savior. And I ask that you would wash me in your precious blood and cleanse me of all my sin. Today, I acknowledge you as my savior, amen. If you just prayed that prayer, you just accepted the greatest gift you could ever receive on this side of heaven. You receive Jesus into your life. And today I'm gonna to encourage you to, to find a Bible-believing church, those who are preaching the Bible, and get in that church and be discipled and be loved because you are loved. Today, church, let's go transform the world one life at a time by loving God, loving people, and making disciples. Happy holidays. We hope to see you back here next Sunday with us as we celebrate the new year together. Many blessings. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in this morning. We're about to shut off the live stream, so wrap up your conversations down below. We ask that before you leave, you would like and share our YouTube video, as well as subscribing to our YouTube channel. In the description box below, you can also find a few links to our other social media accounts, as well as our give link if you're interested in supporting our ministry. Thanks again, and God bless.